transport arrived from the ghetto of Minsk and a lot of former prisoners of war, Jewish people, officers, soldiers were in this transport. And uh, this, again, they'd meet a few people, the Germans, and they picked up about 70 healthy people, most of them former prisoners of war. They didn't even know about this. And they even didn't know about guns, about uh, rifles, about uh, mines. And with their help, with an officer called Sasha Pechorsky, a Jew, only Jews were there, uh, very fast uh, fighting uh, group was organized. And as I said before, the plan was to lure the Nazis to a killing place, kill them with knives, don't use their weapons until the last minute when we make an open revolt. And the plan was the camp should work normally like every day. And so it started. I was the guy who, one of the guys who used to lure the Nazis. I went to a guy, Wolf, told him, Mr. Scharfier, Herr Scharfier, uh, we find a beautiful leather coat, exactly your size, would you go and try it on? And he left. He was killed over there with knives and we had a leather gun, we can use them. And so about uh, five o'clock was the end of work and we did return to the, li to the uh, living quarters, so-called Lager One. And over there I was shocked. And this was uh, why we succeeded actually. I was shocked. Because in that time, when you return to the quarters, you go immediately to the kitchen, stay in the line for coffee. And I didn't believe it. More, practically, uh, everybody stood in line except a, a few people which were in the organization. And the organization was about 10%, which meant about 30 people. And uh, finally, Sasha st uh, jumped on a table, had a short speech, but now is the time. We should take revenge, we should kill the murderers, we should tell the world what's happened here. And whoever will survive, his duty is to do it, to tell the world about the crime of the German people. We didn't, we didn't say in that time Nazis, we said German people, now as a style, we, we talk about them, the Nazis. Anyway, I'm finishing now. Uh, I had a talk and I again started to pray to God, God help me and I will never forget to tell my world. And this is the reason I'm here with you too. I never stop telling if I have a chance. <laughs>